hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel you can call me new if you didn't already know this video uh, we are going to be hanging my curb shower ride so i got these from tj maxx and i bought two because i'm gonna try them out this if this is the brand that i'm thinking of moen they make or they manufacture faucets and like shower heads and i believe like you know toilets and stuff like that so this is a really good brand if it's that same brand but I also picked this one up too because this this one actually gives me the option to like hang it up as a tension rod or I could wall mount it. This one is only a tension rod, which I'm trying to figure out how that works with a curved shower rod. I've never done that. I've only done one with a straight rod. Um, so I'm just curious. But I bought this one just in case because like I said, if this is the brand, I'm like, mm, I kind of like that. I know this brand and they're definitely on par with the quality. I don't know what this brand is. <laughs> you know how TJ Maxx is. They just be having like random stuff sometimes. But I did like that there's an option. So, and also for this one, the Moen one, it's a lot more matte. As you can see, this one is way more glossy. The one that's in my shower now is glossy. But I did like the finish of this. It just looks better. So we're going to try to hang it up. I think I'm going to try to hang this one up first. Like if that falls, it's good to have that other one as the backup because it won't be pressured to the wall with the tension. I can screw it into the wall. So maybe I will just go with you. <laughs> I don't know, but we're, let's try to hang up one and just start with that. the curved one then i thought about it i should have left that up there <laughs> and then just put the other one further out like not use it still leave it up there i should have left it and it, especially because it's a tension rod besides the one that can be mounted i was gonna just use the existing holes obviously because this is tile and I've never tried to screw something through tile. I'm sure there's something you have to do special. To that. Or maybe there's not. I don't know, but I'm not doing that. So I was just going to use the existing holes as long as the dimensions were the same as far as where the shower rod would mount. Um, but again, like I said, I really should have just left that. I mean, I can always put it back up. But now let's go try the tension rod. The good thing is, please don't be crooked, bro. The good thing is, because it was, it's really on there, I don't think it's gonna fall. 
Okay, that was something. I think it's up there. This is the line that I was using as a guide. See where it's at, the little distance. See where this is at, a little bit too high. I'm trying to pull it down, but it is stuck, okay? I'm gonna hang up the shower curtain and the liner back on here, but stay tuned <laughs> to see an update if this thing is still hanging, if I had to take it down and return it. Yeah, cause I'm, I'm curious y'all. I'm, I'm curious just as much as you are. We're gonna see. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, I mean, it looks exactly the same. It's still in the silver family. It's just curved, if you can even see it from the video, but it is curved. I did put it just a little bit higher than the other one. That does not really make a difference. So because I put it a little bit higher, this is like not sweeping the floor. It was like maybe just touching it. Now it's kind of lifted up. So that does help for that. So when I'm like sweeping, I'm not getting the shower curtain caught up. When I open the shower, <laughs> it doesn't bother me, like I said, because when I'm in the shower, I'm nowhere near this thing, so that, that doesn't bother me that that second rod is there. But for whenever I do move out, it's already there. I don't have to worry about putting it back. It feels really, really sturdy. I was checking it, like I said, I'm like pulling on this thing and it flexes a little bit, but it does not feel like it's gonna just come down. Even this one that came with the apartment, I'm lightly pulling on this and this flexes as well, so. I'm confident, but obviously the difference is this is screwed into the wall, this is not. So if you do pull on it, I'm sure with enough force, it will fall down. But why are you pulling on your shower curtain? Bruh. Unless you're clumsy and you fell, I don't know, be careful. But I'm, I'm satisfied with it. So, yeah. For those who don't know, because not everybody does and that's okay, the point of the shower rod being curved is that like inside the shower, it adds a ton of room so that like me, when I'm showering, I, I, don't, I don't like the curtains touch me. I don't want to touch the walls and stuff like that. No matter how clean it is, I don't like that. So this is going to add the space where when I'm washing and I'm moving my arms and stuff like that, I'm not touching the shower curtain or the liner and I'm not touching the wall. Obviously, it does not add space to the tub, right? You can't change that unless you change out the tub. But so for the shower people, curved shower rod is the way to go if you need more space, if you're feeling a little cramped. Um, even in a smaller shower, just having that space in between you, it does make a big difference. Like I said, the bathtub is, is gonna be whatever size you have, that won't change. But for my shower people, game changer i love it so yeah i'm definitely gonna take this one back i didn't even try it because once i stuck that one up there like i said it was kind of stuck so i'm not about to sit there and take it down to try this one what if i don't like it now i gotta put that one back on and i'm pretty sure you can see it in the video but i was like having to use muscle so this one's gonna go back and i think this one was the cheaper one but that's okay Right now we're just gonna go ahead and get into the Amazon unboxing. The first one is actually a laptop stand, but it also is a fan. So you know if you're a gamer or you're editing, this actually has the USB cord to it so that you can plug it into your computer and it's gonna activate the fan so that your laptop, your computer does not overheat. So this thing is actually really really high quality i don't think you can tell from the video but nice feeling aluminum is super sturdy and strong so and oh my gosh so about this right because they have cooling pads and stuff like that but the way that my desk is i think i'm going to show you guys that in the bedroom vlog it's kind of low like it should be but i don't like my laptop to be completely leveled like that so i'm looking at it straight on instead of bending my head down so this is actually adjustable too. So I found that and I was like, oh, I need that. And like I was seeing in the reviews, like the adjustability, it's not like, you know, okay, up or down. And then it feels like wobbly or unstable because you might be adjusting it quite often. This is meant for my desk. So I shouldn't, whatever the height is, I should just be leaving it like that. But it is like hard 
to do. Not hard like you can't do it, but also like it's hard so that when your computer is on it, it's not just gonna fall down. So I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you gotta put a little bit of oomph into it. But I feel like that's a good thing because like I said, you don't want your computer to be on this and this thing just kind of, this is what it looks like. You can, you can adjust how high it sits and then the angle that it's sitting on. It has some rubber so that it doesn't slide down and it stays in place. And then like I said, you plug it into your computer and it activates the fan and keeps your computer nice and cool. Oh, wait, can't unbox it. It's actually the tripod that I'm using now. I got a new tripod. I was using a little, a little rinky-dink one from Five Below and it was doing its job. And I actually didn't necessarily need it or want it for my phone. It was actually for something else. You can use it for my phone too, so it's a win-win. It's not an Amazon unboxing, it's from Target. And I think I said this in the fall vlog where I was saying that I was looking for a book but I wanted something right away. And I ended up getting, I think I got The Housemaid. And that book, yo, that book was so, so, so good. Um, and I heard that there's a second one and possibly a third one. So I'm like really excited that there is a second one and I'm gonna definitely read that. And if there's a third one, depending on how the second one is, I'm gonna feel like, you know, I'll see if it's necessary because sometimes people just get so in their bag and then they just, you know, they, they kind of lose it. Target, damn. Hold on. <laughs> so I bought the housemaids and then I also bought their vicious games and I finished the housemaids in like two days. You could probably finish it a lot faster if you're doing nothing but reading. But I finished that and I just actually have like maybe 10 pages left of their vicious games. That book is really good. I can't wait to see like how the end end ends. But <laughs> But it's really, really, really good. And I recommend that as well. These other books that I got from Target online, I got Honey and Spice and Monday's Not Coming. Um, it's called There's Someone in Your House. I didn't read that yet, but it's still fall time while I'm filming this. And it's like, you know, the, the spooky vibes. I do like thrillers anyway, but especially during this time. This is what I want, something cozy, something just ooh, keep me on edge, keep me flipping the pages. And those two books that I already read and that I'm almost finished with that second one, kept me ready to turn the pages. But these two are on my TBR. I kind of want to read There's Someone Inside Your House next because like I said, spooky season. And before that ends, I definitely want something a little scarier. I thought I had so much more stuff. Oh, the other thing was my king size throw i already unboxed that because it's on my bed if you can't see sure you probably can't see it but i will have a short for that so that's it as far as the amazon and target unboxings if you're looking for something cozy to read or a good read check out those books the other ones i can't speak for yet because i haven't read them but i heard that they were really good so i'm excited for that go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for my next video. Oh, can't get enough of you. Baby, it's something that you.